Welcome back to my studio. Got another um, patch build I'm doing today. Um, I was looking around, I hadn't done a, a Vault Tech for a while, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use some 3D printed stamps to emboss uh, some extra detail into the uh, into the little guy here. Um, should be pretty fun, uh, pretty quick. I'm gonna try to keep my intro video you know, this little conversation that we're having. I'm gonna try to keep these a little smaller. Uh, I imagine what's happening is that people are not, they wanna see what they, you know, what I'm doing and not me talking. So, um, so uh, more cutting, less yak. And that's always difficult for me. So I'm gonna jump right into it. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you uh, like and subscribe, it's always helpful to my channel um, trying hard to, to keep these videos going and I'm thanking for your time thanks bye no well not bye but thanks
new day new project done vault boy with a nuclear symbol uh, I think he turned out all right um, there's some stills of him as he goes in um, I went back through and I did a little bit of brown on him to age him I wanted it to look like it was you know um, that he's been through the wasteland you know I don't want something super crisp and clean uh, it's going to go on a brown bag. I like the yellow border. I'm probably going to do a little bit of added uh, effects utilizing this 3D printed stamp. I don't know how well that's going to come out, but there it is. A little 3D printed stamp. So what I'll do is I'll take these really tall, small, tall, little small um, punches. And there are little letters and numbers on them. And I'll actually put Vault Tech and Vault 101 or vault whatever and this will be put on a little square piece of leather and then this will go on the bag as well and I'll age that and then just put some you know just different I like making them almost a theme but I try not to get too carried away because when I have these at shows um, sometimes they're just a little too much uh, most of the time on my bags I just put a single patch on it um, I've got a brown bag that I think this will look really good on. It may also go on a black bag. Uh, the the Rick patch that I just did, I'm going to have to order a gray bag for this one. Um, it just It's the only way it works. Um, so either black because of the yellow I think might work really good with the black. But uh, when I get the bags done, I'm going to do up a whole video set on just the way I do that and the way I apply them to the bags and I'm gonna do some extra work uh, I keep telling you know I keep saying a little extra work on like the Mises bag I've got and uh, a whole slew of them so getting those things ready trying to get them produced uh, I've got another um, space explorer I want to do um, but uh, kind of a bumpy start for the week but we're gonna do good we're gonna we're going to produce, 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 and hopefully have something to show for it by the end of the weekend. Working on the holsters. Uh, got some final, got some contacts from people who want some more holsters. So thank you, uh, Reddit. I always, uh, always learning how to use Reddit too. So um, got my Twitter account back up. So I'm doing that now. So remember, like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you like anything that you see, please just, you know, let me know what's going on. And uh, always, I appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.